What is up, everybody? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings. I use he, him pronouns, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Wednesday Lift. Hello, friends. Hello, Callie. Hello, Geek. Hello, Gaston. What up, friends? Welcome in. Evie is also here joining us today. Um, she has decided to, uh, to grace us with her presence, as you can see. Uh, you can't really see because she is, uh, she is a shadow. She is the knight. Uh, we love her, and uh, we can't see her. The sweet girl, the sweet girl. Geek, I'm so glad you're here joining for a lift. How's your holiday starting off? Did you sleep in today? Did you get up and, like, try to, like, do productive things? Not that you have to, but that is something that people do sometimes when they go on holiday. It's me. I don't sleep. I don't sleep. I wake up early so that my holiday can be longer, and then I regret not sleeping. So that's my problem. That's my problem. Hello, Moon. How are you doing? <laughs> Woke up for meds and went back to sleep for two hours. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. This is the perfect arrangement. This is the perfect thing. Uh, you may notice that I'm still not using these dongle boys right here. Um, I need to reinstall the app that they use for their, their functionings. Um, because they just, they just they do this sometimes. Windows update hits and then the, the, the software just stops working. And all the inputs won't go to OBS. So that's the problem. Mics are working fine. Mics are working fine. It's my damn PC. Last work day before break. So excited. Nice moon. I still got a couple more days to go. I still got a couple more days to go. Hearthstoner. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday, friends. Happiest of Wednesdays to you. Oh, we got Ulrich in here, too. Oh, we got a saucy. Oh, we got a saucy crew. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome from the dungeon. The dungeon. The dungeon. I don't like calling it the fungin. That feels like a that feels like a sex thing. I'm not trying to make it a sex thing, but it feels like a sex thing. It does feel kind of kind of like a sex thing. Got some chores done, finished some sewing projects been putting off, and now chilling, stitching this Dillian sequence in the Matrix skirt. A good start to the holly. I love it! I love it! Perhaps some cleaning! Time off, what's that? John, hello. Long time no see, friend. How you been? How have you been doing? How you been surviving? It's good to see you. We can, uh, yeah. pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 I'm gonna have to eventually block off that window. Well, good morning, friends. We're gonna start off getting this warm up in because, uh, we've already been slightly delayed. And, uh, I do have a two o'clock meeting. I don't think the slip will take three hours. But you know what? Sometimes it'd be like that. It be like that sometimes. Ooh. Mario Pips shooting the little gaps in my ceiling. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. Now there's a ham on a glaze steamer. <laughs> Hello, Lou. How are you doing? Oh, and Paul's here too. Howdy, Paul. 45 minutes that I'm off for two plus weeks. Wow. I'm jelly. I'm gonna get about a week and a half off. <laughs> Come on over me. You're okay. Oh, well, welcome in, Paul. Geek, can I get a shout for, for Mr. Paul? Can you make it through? Oh, you're being so you're being so careful. <laughs> I love her so much. Don't do it. Hey, uh -huh. it's that mushroom time. That makes me really sad. I need to just put that in toys somewhere else. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll be shouting across the room to the mic for one more stream. I think tomorrow I'll be able to fix it. Woo! Thank you, Geek. Signed off work. Let's have some barbecue ribs. Five minutes left in the oven, so I excite. Yeah. Did you get to start in midday? That's beautiful. Quickly discovering my company doesn't really give anybody time off. Keep responding to emails. What are you doing, Geek? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the five gifty subs. What's that all about? I can recommend Paul's channel personally. He's very handsome and funny. Not a biased opinion at all. 
Oh, thank you, Geek. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, congrats, everyone, for your gift subs. For Vondrick, Fagel, Medrin, Eddie, and Luzo. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Welcome to the second layer of the Runnyverse. You're now a part of something special. You already kind of work. I see no hand in the beefcake. Hello, Mossy. How are you doing? Happy, uh, happy Tuesday. How was your 6 a.m. shift? Just time. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Don't do this, I'll cry. Ugh. Ooh, nice deep squat. Popping back those hips. <laughs> <laughs> Rotations, drop from the palm to the floor. Is that PT I see? Hello, PT. Oof. Are you single? Is that more biddies? Who's doing these things? Thank you. <sighs> oh. Roll the shoulders. Oh no. No, you did not start a hype train. You stinkers. You stinkers. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 biddies, geek. And hello, Gaston. Wasn't too bad. Tea brief for 1.5 hours this morning. Lots of smaller jobs today. VT, <laughs> thank you for the 200 biddies. Bork? Lou! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you for the resub, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm excited for you and your ribs. And I feel like the phrasing on that could be a little bit better. I'll own that. I'll own that. We could do better on phrasing. Cool. You're gonna get some sweet going for these deadlifts. Not too kind. You all too kind. I understood what you meant. Do you? Are you sure? Damn cannibal. There's a reason I went into HR. Because I'm a people person. I believe in seeing humans as resources. <laughs> I'm not saying all HR people are cannibals. But I'm not saying that they're not cannibals. Now I'm saying, now I'm saying, I'm saying I don't have any real evidence to prove otherwise. Why do you think they're the company lunch? Do you like fava beans? Isn't that just beans? <laughs> Thank you for the quote. <laughs> <laughs> you were the quote, Geek. That's a troublesome one to have in the archive, but I think we'll be okay. Isn't fava the word for bean? Isn't it bean beans? If so, I love bean beans. Me and my buddy Moon Moon love bean beans. <laughs> nope. I'm not warmed up. Hang on. Uh, come on, legs. Come on, back. Get moving. I gotta get this whole thing. Fava beans or broad beans? Ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Oh, 
Okay. It's been a while since I've seen Silence of the Lambs. Like, I actually watched it all the way through. Because I'll tell you what, that was probably... Uh, you know, we talked about horror movies last night on stream. And, uh... <laughs> that is definitely one of the horror films that has stuck with me a little more as being actually terrifying. Just to, you know, a little too real. I mean, the whole face-eating thing is a... You know, that's a bit of a stretch. Whew. I remember watching the Hannibal series too, so it seems cannibalism is following me. I'm on season three now. Be careful. Be careful. Soon you'll be ready to partake of the fruit. The most dangerous game. Grapes. Grapes are the most dangerous. The most dangerous. Santa Clara died a TV show about cannibalism, but like a comedy. Yeah, I, br I vaguely remember. Wasn't it like... I think it's like a, a zombie thing, actually. Because they look like normal people. <sighs> With Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Yeah, thank you all so much for the hype train. Thank you for the love today. I appreciate you. Choo choo! Thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you. Your presence is always enough. We love you. Oh my gosh, I love you too, Lou. Thank you. But, uh, uh, but I heard um, Santa Clarita Diet was um, Zombos. They had to eat people in order to stay alive or like to keep themselves young. But I got kind of put off from it because the, like the little icon that they'd always show for the show was like some like goofed up zombie face. That stuff, that stuff really puts me off. I don't know why, I've never been good with scary zombie faces. Never been good with that stuff. <clears throat> zombie movies are all cannibal movies technically. Mm -hmm. You're right. But are they, hold on, but are they? Like, are they, do you become a different entity when you become a zombie? Is it no longer eating your own kind? Does cannibalism mean eating your own kind or does it mean eating, like killing, like eating a human? Like entom entomologically? Or is that bugs? What once was your own kind? Don't be a zombophobe. It's called necrophobia. Actually, no, that's not. That's probably something else. Well, we're throwing a lot of words out there today, aren't we? A lot of words to be thrown out. <laughs> a lot of words to work with. Nope, that's a different thing. No, 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 no. That's not that either. Because I know what you're thinking of, and it's not that. That might be right. Gonna risky Google. Because it's not the Elia one. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Something that happens in the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And like literally any story about the post apocalypse always involves someone eating another person. So, dream irrational fear of death or dead bodies. Okay. Fear of all dead things, death, whereas Doms are specifically the ambulatory dead. Yes, okay. So we're on the right track. When you said there's a fear of death and corpses per Google. Okay. So you are specific about your phobness. Yeah. So it would be zombophobic. Zom you can be zombophobic. You can be zombophilic. Or you could go straight to being a zombosexual. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe! Hello! 
Welcome in, Raiders. What up, Blue Roads? How we doing, folks? <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. We were just talking about orientations towards zombies. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Runnings. He, him pronouns. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we lift weights. Tuesday, Sundays, we play video games all the time. We're an inclusive community all about getting moving in the ways that work for you. <laughs> we're having a cannibalism discussion, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I work in human resources. We decided that human resources people are cannibals. So I'm not admitting anything, but uh, I'm not denying anything at the same time. But welcome in, Raiders. I hope you'll, uh, Joe, how was the rest of your workout? You had you had the, the fit today. My goodness. Your outfit was awesome. Like, I know that sounds like a really, I, like, I hope this is coming off just like in the most respectful way. But like the color coordination was sick. I loved it. It was so good. <laughs> Rug, hello, welcome in. How are you doing, Rug? How? Oh, oh. <laughs> We're an inclusive community, although Cole, Cole might be excluding zombies. Zombies deserve rights too. They might. They might. <laughs> welcome in, Joe Workouts Raider. Welcome in, Rug. Um, Rug, can I, can I get a shout for? Uh, oh, we got we already got a shout for Joe. Can I get a shout for Rug too? Raiders, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. Grab a walk. Grab a grab a pet and give them lots of rubs on their head um but yes joe i totally get it if you got a raid and run um if you want to hang out for a bit i appreciate you and i appreciate you either way let's be real Put 25 on. We got one more warm up set before we get into the work. Hierarch, welcome in. I will be back to streaming at some point. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. Of course, Rod. Everyone needs to know how great you are. Whether you're active or not, people need to pay homage to our Furby Queen. How's your day going, Rod? I know you mentioned you've been pretty busy with PhD stuff lately. Trying to become the, the, the infamous Dr. Stickle. I do like Dr. Stickles as a moniker. It's like, you know, like vaccinating, but fun. Like, you bring people in for a blood draw. I know that's not the kind of doctor you're doing, but, like, someone comes in for a blood draw, and they're just getting their stickles, you know? Speaking of never streaming, so peeps? Hello, tea drinker. How you doing? Welcome in, buddy. How's training going? How's your, oh, excuse me. How's your, um, how's your internship going? Might have overdid the ribs. No such thing. No such thing. Done almost nothing today. So much to do, but no headspace to do it. Eating Chris now. Christmas poll later, which I'm excited for. Ooh, uh, salt and vinegar. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome in, Jack. How you doing, buddy? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. <laughs> we got Dylan in here too. What's up, bud? You're hurting. What happened? What happened? Uh, geek. Can I also get a shot? A shout? A shot? Sure. We'll take shots for Dylan. Can I get a shot for the D-Lit? Sickle cell. Shoot, buddy. So you're having a flare-up? I'm sorry to hear it. I hope you start feeling a little better soon. It is. It does operate like that for you, right? It's just the occasional flare-up. This one's a bit worse than most of the other ones. Shoot, buddy. Take care of yourself. Rest up. I know there's, there's probably only so much resting you can do, but I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you're in a... In a rough spot. Rough time of year or two, you know. Get these deads. That's right. How have your deads uh how how are how have you, uh, the, 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 how has your powerlifting program been going? These pauses have been murderous. <clears throat> really great for my really great for my uh my deadlifts, but very difficult. Very difficult. Turnship is going great, feeling like one of the team. Meanwhile, my actual job continues to catch fire. And push people away. 
Ain't it something when we all catch fire? Did you try any of those deficit DLs we talked about? No. So I'm planning to, Obrick, as soon as this program is over. Because uh, what has basically happened, and this is going to sound like an excuse, and I fully own that it sounds like an excuse, but with like the ski trip and my planned deload not being a full deload, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to not um, trying to stick as close to the program as possible, right? Work in extra accessories and everything, but um, I'm just gonna stay on this program. And then when I start doing my own programming again after this, which I'm very excited for, I'm gonna work in some deficits. Those are gonna be murder. Murder. How do you deficit stiff legged in oofed? What's an oofed deadlift? Hammy's on fire. Fighter in the hole. Fire in Lou's hole. Excuse is my middle name. Well, nice to meet you, excuse. Nice to meet you. Le Roi. Le Roi. This song is always a banger. Yes, we listen to Le Roi while we drink La Croix. Did you just say fuck? No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I won't gas. I won't try to gaslight anyone. I will admit to what I said out loud just now. I will fully admit to what I just said out loud. It just sounded like you were you were talking about one. I changed my consent. I consent. Okay. Okay. This may be used against you in a court of law. This may be used against you in a court of law. You know what? While we're while we're doing confessions. Um, and doing things that will get me in legal trouble. Um, we had a really, we had a really full, don't be up against me. <laughs> Do we need to listen to that Britney song now? Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I missed Evie's feeding window this morning and she got her, she got her breakfast like two hours late. Um, I deserve to be publicly shamed for what happened there. So, uh, you know, hit me with your best shot. I messed up. Yep, ring the shame bell. Ring the shame bell. She, she's already forgotten. She was she was a hungry girl. Honestly, she was so good and patient about it though. Like for 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 all the things that she does that are just like, okay, doggo, chill your shit. Like when it comes to like us missing her meals. She, just, she doesn't say anything. Like, she might act up a little bit, but she doesn't, like, sit there and stare at us, you know? She doesn't, like, paw at us. She doesn't go flip her bowl over. When she doesn't have water in her bowl, she just, like, lays quietly by her bowl until we go and fill it up. All right, time for three plates. Mm -hmm. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your meow. She probably has forgotten. She's just chilling in a sunbeam right now, having the time of her life this morning. Feeding pecan chicken and rice at the moment because he was anesthetized yesterday. Chicken is making me feel so ill, but I'm dog mama, so I gotta do what's best for him. That's so kind of you, Rug. I'm sorry you gotta go through the chicky. Plotting your downfall. Plotting silently for the next moment to strike. She did actually, like, we're, we're having an exchange right now because we did let her sleep on the bed last night. We don't always do that. In fact, I would say, like, 98% of the time, she's in her bed. Um, but last night, we had her sleep in the bed. She's very good the whole night, but then like at normal wake up time, she like reared up and just like punched me. It's like, Dad, get up, father, it's time. So maybe 
Maybe I unintentionally got her back. I got revenge without trying. made very clear <laughs> i'm a vegetarian for life no that's great i'm really i'm really proud of you rug for for sticking to that because you know i've started to take in a little more um a, a, a wee bit more of the animal products and i'm not super proud of that but also with the training i'm doing it's just it's i felt a lot better i felt a lot better and uh, since, like, just buying it for the house, I've saved quite a bit of money because uh, I'm not just, like, going out to get it all the time. When you can make your own chicken burrito at home, I tell you what, I tell you what, life gets a little bit sweeter as, like, a bodybuilder, right? <laughs> Gotta do what's best for your health. And honestly, the real thing that would be best for my health was to start, what would be, to start working out a reasonable amount and uh, not trying to gain weight constantly. Um, that would be the best thing for my health and wallet. But I don't know. I just treat it like a hobby, right? People put time and money and energy into their hobbies. This one's mine. Supplement. I'm open to feedback on that. But yes, I have some chicken that I'm going to be cooking off a little later today. Um, maybe. Maybe. I might have a buddy coming over. He wants to uh, hang out and watch a movie. We might be watching The Black Cauldron, which is a Disney film that I have not... Um, a Disney film that I have not actually watched, but I've heard a lot about. 20 minutes left. Paul, you can't stare at the clock like that, broski. How can you, uh, how, how are you, how are you, how are you maintaining your, your well-being during that time? Black Cauldron is a super old film. It's good, though. See, like, if you look it up, um, you see a lot of really terrifying cartoon imagery um, and some really bad Rotten Tomato scores. But my understanding, my understanding is that it's actually very good for its time. Um, allegedly, it was the film that almost sunk Disney. They didn't make any animated films for like 10 years afterwards. By watching you. Oh, whoa. <laughs> also not seen it. Maybe, hmm. First Disney animated movie almost sunk a company. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Like, they didn't, uh, they didn't make any animated movies for a while after that. And uh, then when they came back, um, it was for very different films. And that was, like, the Disney Renaissance. If that wasn't, isn't a message of don't give up, I don't know what is. I mean, really. Like, they tried something, and it was interesting and cool, and it didn't work. And they took a break. But then they came back to it later, and it worked. It worked really well. Amy Mew Mew, hello. Is that Hatsune Miku? Welcome in. Just have a little break and regroup. Just take a little time. Step back. Take a little, take a little break and break. <laughs> not Disney. I'm not seeing it either. People tell me I would love it, but I get, they get so obsessed about telling me that it makes me not want to see it out of awkwardness. Oh, so you get that like, oh, you're telling me to do something because you think I would like something, and therefore I'm not going to like it. I do that. Sh I do that all the time. Well, welcome in, Amy. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Um, I think I may have watched that once. Look, it, it looks familiar, but I couldn't tell you what it's about. The pro tag looks suspiciously like a uh, LOZ one Link, like very first Legend of Zelda Link. The brown hair and the tunic, the sword. Dude probably gets like stabbed by skellies. 
1985. Whoa. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Pleased to have you here. We're just getting started uh, on our working sets of some paused deadlifts. Uh, we are on a powerlifting program right now. We're coming up to the tail end of it. It's baby's first powerlifting program. Baby's first powerlifting program. And this baby is very excited. He's dumping his diaper in excitement. I was thinking the series called 1899 and got confused. <laughs> oh, all right. I've not started that yet. We need to finish House of the Dragon. Once we finish House of the Dragon, then maybe I'll start 1899. Oh, all right. Dose. Is this First one wasn't paused, but I'm going to count it anyway, because I forgot it. I forgot to plus it. I already did the first one. Okay. Snooks. How we doing, broski? Welcome in. Hang on, let me get in there. Band for warm ups. I'll start warming up for bench. Excited to weigh myself tomorrow? Yeah. Really hoping for good news. Excellent, buddy. I'm glad. I'm glad to see you excited to get on the scale. Good on you. Good on you. I was actually going to message you today to just ask for an update on how you're doing. And then uh, my boss called. So I couldn't. I still have to have a call with her today. We're doing some external rotations. Keeping that thumb going out like a little pendulum. Pulling from back here. Ooh. Getting that rotator cuff all warmed up before we start benching. Actually, everything sucks. My clothes feel slightly bigger. Ooh. Love to see it. Remember that a body change um, and a scale. Sorry, body change. I got distracted by Blink 182. I'm sorry. I'm going to change it up. Um, body change and a scale change are two different changes, right? If you're not seeing movement in one, but you see movement in the other, that's still movement. If the fit is different, the fit is different. Whew. Hope it improves for you soon. I would, I would echo this sentiment. Wow, I just knocked a whole ass glass jar off of the back of my, um, and I knocked it off the back of the, the thing, my table. I, it didn't break, thankfully. I'm very thankful that it didn't break. I need to pop this down here. Pardon me for checking my phone today, folks. I need to be on the lookout for a potential call from somebody. We're in this zone where, like, there's a lot of things that we literally cannot do um, from an HR standpoint for the rest of the year. Is because certain offices, internal offices, have been shut down and they're not reviewing things anymore. Um, but we have to like try to get as much as we can prepared, and uh, this means like phone calls. We've had these searches going on for weeks and weeks and weeks, and they're almost over. But it's just been like so much, so much. But I'm happy to help find the right people. I'm happy to do it. I'm pleased. I'm pleased to do my job. I am. I really am. I'm not lying. Okay. Uh, whew. More deads. But how's, uh, how's Tuesday otherwise, Snooks? How's the day going? What you got going on this week? It's Wednesday. I said Tuesday. Please hold me accountable. Hold me accountable. Um, 
So yes. <laughs> so, so many so many sets. So many sets. Completely threw me for a moment there. Did you think that like you were for a moment just like you were supposed to be at work and you weren't? That would have um that would have been bad. Would have been bad. <laughs> Did this man just say Tuesday? Does he not know what day it is, or do I not know what day it is? I need answers. I need answers. There's your answer. I was wrong. It's Wednesday. It's very obviously Wednesday. Joe is my source of truth. That is a, that is a dangerous pedestal to put me on. Um, not that I have a problem with it, but I, I, do, um, I do just want to... I feel like I need to make a legal disclaimer there. Has my head been cut off this whole time? <clears throat> Have I been like Amityville Horror this entire time? Wow. Shaky weights. Stay put. Why are you shaking? Literally typed, it's Wednesday. <laughs> 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 Can I get a who, yeah? Calculating whether it was work going. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm Gamer Gains. How you doing, buddy? Welcome in, welcome back. Here works gonna keep the tab. Gotta support you, fitness freaks. That's right. Thank you, thank you so much, Geek. Okay, sorry, Gains. I'm gonna do this myself. This is uh, <clears throat> this is mine. This is mine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you have a great day at work, my dude. Hope the kiddos are going okay. Joe.exe is having issues today. We're on our way to a crash, I think. We're on our way to a crash if I'm not careful. I might be climbing after work today. I might be doing the double. We're all climbing tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Oof. One tree. How you doing? You sneaky man. I hope you're having a great day. Interested to hear any updates you have after uh, the next uh, the next couple of days, but. <laughs> how are the kiddos though if, if i you know i don't want to keep you because i know you're working but how's the fam hope y'all are having fun getting ready for holidays if that's the thing you're doing don't want to be presumptuous Whew. the one thing i have to remember about using this microphone is that when i put my jar down it makes a lot of noise so I can't just like slap it like I can when I'm using the, the live mics. Busy so far. Just got back from the grocery interview in 40 minutes. Fame is good. Mill and Phil get here in about an hour or so. Got it. Ooh. So you're going to be hosting. You're going to be hosting. Uh, I think the fact that we don't have an established guest bedroom in our home has kept people from coming to visit for longer periods of time. We haven't had to like host in-laws because well, it, there's there's a lot of that. There's, there's other reasons too, but I think as long as we don't have like a full bed for people to stay in, we won't get a lot of people that are like coming in to to stay. <laughs> so good luck on the interview. Good luck. We're hosting seven total people in our house. Luckily, we've got five bedrooms. Word. Yeah. So my vision, my like long-term vision is to uh, convert some of this downstairs space into a bedroom at some point. I'm going to, like right now, we have like a little little living room situation over there. And uh, I think I'm going to create, I'm going to build some new walls, and I'm going to turn that into a small bedroom. And then uh, that'll have uh, a spot for um, a bed, like a murky bed or something. Max, hello, how are you doing? Welcome in. Bill Coleman. 
fucking asleep on the bench. See, we do... <laughs> See, you know, there are some people that if I said that to them, they'd be like, you know what, sure. Get shit, little buddy. I'll sleep on the bench. You gonna be a bad host? I'm gonna be a bad... I'm gonna be a bad hostie. Also have no spare rooms. We live here all year round, so we want to use the space. No, I totally get it. I totally get it. I mean, we it's the thing is that we have the space. It's just not finished, right? It's not finished or set up in that way. Could potentially have six bedrooms. You got a room adjacent to my office down here that's piped for a bathroom. Could easily make that into a small bedroom and bathroom. And see, those projects sound like, oh, yeah, that'd be so easy. That'd be so easy. It'd be so easy we could do it. Like, I do, this, I do the same shit, right? I'm just like, whatever. Like, how? How far could it possibly be to just like put up studs all around here and then just like some drywall on there? How hard could it be? It'd be a lot of swearing. A lot of swearing. Yeah. Only one more set. He can thinks our spare room is his. It is his. I wouldn't be his. I won't be doing it myself. If we do it, there's gonna be contractors involved. Maybe an engineer, but I'm horrible at actually working with tools. I have uh slowly built up more comfort over the last two years, but a lot of things still stir me. Like I'm not gonna mess with electrical <laughs> outside of just like changing out a light. I'm not dealing with that stuff. I almost started a fire once and that was enough. <laughs> Hello Remus, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. I think I've just accepted that like, I'm gonna have to work through the whole week. And I know we've already discussed this. We've discussed this. Started, like I'm very privileged to have the situation I have. But there would be even a chance it would be an easy week. Just not gonna calm down. I've accepted that. I'm at peace with that. And now I know. <laughs> Just ate a certain sandwich from a certain sandwich shop? Ooh, really, Chris? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Does it start with a Z? That's the first one that came to mind. That's the first one that came to mind. Does it start with a Z? I won't touch electrical. The one Oprah loves. Exactly. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I did think of SpongeBob for a moment there. Hey, man, you've got to try this sandwich. It's no ordinary sandwich. Welcome in, Chris. I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> that's what I engineer. Love your shirt, buddy. Great color on you. Doing all right. Been a good day at work so far. I'm going to hear it. But here, you got any plans for the week? <laughs> any big plans for the weekdays? Seen enough fatalities and injuries in my time to leave it to the licensed professionals. And that is a good move. That's a good move. I'm so careful. I'm so careful. But I mean, a point that you are raising without saying it explicitly is that it only takes one slip up to like really, 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 really hurt somebody. That's the tough thing about electrical. Plumbing, like a slip up, you just make a huge mess and then maybe you probably you could you could ruin an entire room if you do plumbing wrong. That's one thing. Well, you see, we got a blizzard coming where I am in the Midwest. Lots of wind, below freezing temps. That sounds just lovely. Hold on, did J Corsair pop in? And I missed greeting them? I vaguely remember seeing this. I might not have missed it. JCW, hello. It's work from home day. My bosses cannot stop me from being on Twitch.com. Um, um, actually, it's Twitch.tv. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm hanging out. Okay, Jay. Hi. Hello and welcome. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> I'm sorry that I missed it when you came for the first time. It was like, sometimes when I'm over here and I'm doing something and I like see something out of the corner of my eye and I get distracted. Anyway, thank you for understanding. Leave touching it to you. I also leave it people like you to tell me exactly how my design sucks. 
<laughs> good. Enjoy Christmas inside when it's that cold. And it's it's not good. It's not good to it's not good to go outside. I mean, right now it's sunny out. We me and Evie did get a little bit of sunshine today. We caught the dawn. Through Frank, the only big injuries Moss has had was a stone and a gas bottle. Wait, a gas bottle? Like like a clunk? I'm using the secret and forbidden twitch.com. Oh, so you are on the undernet. I played Mega Man Battle Network enough times to know about the undernet, and I'm pretty sure twitch.com is on the undernet. <laughs> Doing a long stream on 1230? We are. We are. I haven't decided timing yet and how long it's going to be because I'm waiting to hear about some other things. Um, but yeah, we're doing a birthday bash on the 30th. We're doing my 30th birthday on the 30th. So uh, mark your calendars. And if you want to vote on what we're doing on the 30th, there's still a poll open in the Discord that you can contribute to. How to blowtorch cause a fireball in a bucket. My beard is... Oh, damn. Was that recent? Twitch, Twitch dot butt. <laughs> Come on, butt spot. Get your, get your shit together. All right, it's time. It's time. The last one. Two pauses. Two pauses. I'm just gonna try not to overthink it. Just gotta do, just gotta do the lift. Legend. Easy. My back. Easy. That was last week. Are you okay, friend? I'm glad you're okay. Get your butt in the game. Get in that game. Clean pause. That was a good pause. Those were good pauses. The other ones were a little short. Those ones felt right. Thanks for believing in me. Believe it. I haven't seen enough Naruto to quote Naruto. <laughs> Thanks, d -Lit. Taking notes one day, walked up to a pole, felt buzzing in my feet. Had to shuffle away from it. Somewhat of a hair-raising experience. Wait, are you for real? Oh my gosh. Cash was singed and a few crispy hairs. I mean, that's very scary, but I'm... Overall, obviously, I'm glad you're okay. All right, everyone. Forget what I said about home improvement. I want you to leave. I want you to leave the scary stuff to the professionals like Mossy. Leave it to Mossy. Mossy's licensed. You either find someone with a license to do your electrical, or you find someone with a license to drive you in the wee woo wagon all the way to the hospital. You don't want that. Yeah, I have one real request of everyone this holiday season. That is stay out of the wee woo wagon. Appreciate sure that Ariel wasn't properly grounded. Thankfully, helmet, neck protector, safety glasses, and overalls means little flesh was actually exposed. That's not the case here. 
Lots of flesh exposure. Just me to make a fireball in negative five degree weather. <laughs> the stone that took out half a tooth did more damage. I remember hearing about that one. <clears throat> Piece of flint just like shot up and hit your tooth. <laughs> Psycho Commando, how you doing, buddy? Prepared my holiday hams yesterday with deadlifts. We just finished up. We just finished up our deadlifts. How you doing, friend? Good to see you as always. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get set up for some bench. Bench. That way, I work on break. Well, I hope you're having a great break. I hope you're having a great break. Um, are you like pretty busy through the end of the year, Psycho? Hams and yams. Yams, hams, and dental dams. I remember that class. Boy, was that weird. Wag wants up. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Was it my mention of personal protective equipment? I'm sorry. We are familiar with dental dams, right? Birthdays are over, so on the decline now. Ah, so you're uh, you're starting to starting to cool down for the year. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. Always uh, always bums me out when folks get really busy at the tail end of the year. That's uh, that's hard. That's hard. I was too busy chuckling to respond. I just wanted to make sure that it was actually as much of a thing in other countries as it is in the U.S. And by thing, I mean something that people uh, only kind of tangentially know about. Felt rough. This felt a little rough. Lots of video game stuff popping up on the playlist today. I'm gonna skip it though. I'm feeling more rough routine. So again, sorry about the microphone situation today. I'm trying to not do as much talking like in the back of the room that I would normally do, right? Hard to, uh, hard to break that habit once you start doing it. It's a bummer when like it's like something I can't even do while I'm streaming because the last time I tried to reinstall the software while I had a stream running it bricked my computer <laughs> and I couldn't even go live again after that so that was so we're not gonna we're not gonna do that again oh. 
We shan't. Hi, <laughs> Zero. Uh, happy Wednesday. So I shouldn't buy these mics. I don't know. See, Paul, that's the thing is like, I would again say that um, like 90% of my experience with them has been positive. It's just uh, whenever a Windows update comes through, uh, it's not even whenever a Windows update comes through, like three times a Windows update has come through. And instead of just changing the sources in OBS, it like completely breaks the connection that the Rode mic app, which you have to have running in order to use it on your PC, um, it breaks the connection between the app and any other sound software. So like the mic is working, the, the mic is working. You can see like input coming in through the app on the system, but the app doesn't connect to OBS. It's just, it's very, it's super weird, but then you reinstall the app and it's fine. So, um, I don't know about the distance, but from what I understand, they're good for like up to, uh, like 20 feet out or like uh, 30 feet out, sometimes farther. It's either 30 feet or 30 meters. But when I clip them on and then I walk around the house, uh, no one's ever said like, oh, you broke up. 200 feet? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I feel good about my investment in the mics. It's just like, the, the kind of week that I've had, like Saturday when it decided it was gonna just break on me. Um, after Saturday, I just didn't have any time to get down here and like fiddle with it. So, you better never break up with me. <laughs> I mean, us. I mean, everybody. Everybody. You know, the, the really uh, important thing that I, I feel I've been trying to do as we go throughout this process is like, yes, yeah, the truth. <laughs> I've been trying to make sure that I'm always checking in with myself about how I feel about the commitment um, and what I feel I would need to change if I did need to make a change and like cut back on Switch. And what I have determined is that uh, right now I feel good about it. If I'm ever going to cut back, you're going to get a lot of notice. I don't think I'd ever stop completely. I don't think I'd ever stop twitching completely. But um, that's also a big commitment to make. So, Bill, hello. How are you doing, buddy? I'm having too much fun. It's a chest workout. Feels good. I'm not going to read that out loud, but I'm happy for you. Ebbs and flows for me. Having a lot of fun streaming again. I, <laughs> I love watching you just like hang out with the community and play WoW. 
I'm never like super talkative during the times that I pop into your streams and I apologize. I don't understand using clips on bench press, especially by yourself. It seems safer without. Yeah, probably would be safer without. It's more of a habit at this point. Honestly, Snooks, like I know that when I do, um, when I do, sorry, let me walk this back. The reason for using clips is when you're in a public gym, you don't want to lose your weight or like when you're in like a tighter space, you don't want to lose your weight and then like have it roll off and smack somebody. If you've got a spotter, then like really, if you've got a spotter, you should definitely clip your weights for that reason. If you don't have a spotter and there's not a lot of people around, definitely don't worry about clipping your weights because you can dump them if you need to. But some of my workout doesn't fit 10 to 12 reps. Feel more grinding muscle gain without six to seven. But with heavy weight, is it normal? I mean, if you are like, if the goal is to lift heavy, you shouldn't do 10 to 12 reps. If you're trying to lift heavier weight, like three to seven, like three to six, honestly, three to six reps. No, I stream when you were having family time and stuff. It's totally okay. Plus, we talk a lot about <laughs> Yeah, get it. Six to seven butts. Lost the 2.5. Nice job, big man. Good for you. A little extra cardio. Sometimes you just need to you need to up that uh you need to up that activity. I'm gonna do a little straight stretch. Oh, good eye, sir. If you're just trying to build muscle and strength, should you focus on more weight and less reps? That's a good question, Zorpox. So it's, it's kind of a, the, the funny thing is that if you are trying to build strength, strength building routines are not always super supportive of hypertrophy. So what recent research says is that if you want to like build big muscle bellies, um, build, build big muscles, right? Make your muscles bigger and more defined um hypertrophy work is the best way to do that and hypertrophy work is anything that's going to be within that 10 to 15 rep range some would say 8 to 12 some would say 8 to 15 like really like if you're going above 15 you're doing more endurance workouts but you know 8 to 12 is optimal um so if you want to if the goal is to build strength you want to stick in that like three to six range um, you can also do like powerlifting training that has you do heavy singles, heavy doubles. Um, but if you're doing entirely powerlifting training, you're probably not going to see a ton of size difference, right? You're not going to get like big beefy biceps by, uh, doing a ton of like heavy compound movements. So, um, what I would advise is like getting to know lifting through hypertrophy work and higher rep work because the more reps you do the more you can get a chance to really make that mind muscle connection and then once you get a handle on those things like you know if you're doing a three by ten squat three by eight squat like you're doing a lot more squats and you have more opportunities to learn how to do that movement properly and make fixes to your form before you start moving really heavy weights and it becomes a little more dangerous right <laughs> I've been thinking about stealing your community playlist idea, Gaston. It does sound fun. Zeke's a great dude. Yeah. We appreciate Zeke. He doesn't... I, I'm not... It's always hard to tell when he's... Because he usually pops it in lurks and is just like, hey, hello. And then, you know, he's hanging out. But he's been super supportive. I really appreciate him. That makes sense. He's usually doing like 12 to 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're not going to... Um, you're not going to get as much like muscle growth in that area as you would in the 8 to 12 range. And then more important than anything is making sure that you're incorporating progressive overload. So you're not going to get bigger and stronger if you're not either lifting more or lifting heavier or like reducing your um, reducing your rest between sets. I forgot how many I need to do. I think this is three. Yeah. Three reps. Let's go.
Beauty. Drop down to 195, I believe. Switch these up. And I'll check chat. One ninety-five or one eighty-five. Ooh. Virtue is what, 8 to 12? 12. 12 plus is balanced stability. Yeah, yeah, and you'll get different benefits from different training styles depending on where you are in the in your cycle or in your uh, right. the poison, the poison, the poison, poison for Goosego, the poison just and special for the kill Goosego, Goosego's poison. Hello, Panda, how are you doing? <laughs> New music, that's all I wanted. Oh no, it's okay, One Tree. 8 to 12 reps of lighter weight sometimes makes me uncomfortable or not feeling the grind. Yeah, so if you've been doing that for a long time, just switch it up, right? If you've been doing nothing but hypertrophy training for like 12 weeks, try doing some strength training, you know? You might enjoy it. It could be a great, like, gut check, too, to be like, okay, well, now I'm going to try to progress in different ways. Because then it becomes less about, like, what am I seeing in the mirror and more about... Like, what are the numbers? What are ha what's happening with the numbers? And that can be really validating, honestly. Oh, I gotta hydrate. I heard that the last five reps should be difficult but completable to gain muscle. That, that's, yeah, I would say that holds true. If your entire set is easy, like if all three sets are easy, you're probably not gonna be doing much for yourself. But you shouldn't be crushing it and going to failure on every set. And you're welcome, Zorb. Thanks for uh, thanks for asking a great question. Killer Booty, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Panda, I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Getting some bench in today. Uh, last week of work before I get a little bit of time off, and I'm very excited about it. Only 11.5 pounds away from my goal weight. Good, nice, nice. Nice work, buddy. I hope you get there. I hope you get there. You're welcome, Bill. Yeah, uh, I... Keep the AMA and Q&A tag on here, like, on purpose, right? I want people to ask questions and, you know, the, the biggest thing, I feel like I say the biggest thing about, like, so many things, but, like, the biggest thing with, like, what I'm trying to get across is that people that know it really closely consider it to just, like, a lot of things to just be, they take it for granted, right? I take my knowledge for granted sometimes. There's no stupid questions. I know people say that sometimes and then they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. But like, there are no stupid questions about fitness because everybody's body is different. And like, you may have a totally different setup with how you got prepared to do it. Cody order was stuck at customs. Overseas delivery takes so much time to be here. Yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine. Are you studying for the exam? I am. I am. Yeah, it's been, uh, I've been trying to get in like 30 minutes a day. Um, but, uh, I don't know. But the, the thing is, is like when I'm studying for an exam that is related to my job, um, studying for an exam that is related to my job is uh, it's hard because after I do my job for like eight or 10 hours and I feel like doing my job is studying. Like that's 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 yes, valid. Also not valid. I'm gonna get this set in real quick and then I will uh, I will catch up on chat again. We got 195 for six. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah. What field? Human resources. Please don't hate me. Other question about difference between doing machines and free weights. Remember, free weights engage the other muscles. Machines let you focus more on the muscle you're working. Almost all machine will get back to comfortable in the gym. Transition to free weights at some point. I would say, uh, I, I would say, yeah, Zorb. Whenever you can, start working them in, even if it's like just one of your movements. Um, even if it's just one of your movements each day. So like, all right, I've been doing you know, like machine curls the whole time, or I've been doing a machine chest press. Um, lower the weight a little bit, right? Like cut your expectations a bit of how much you're gonna be able to move. Cause you gotta remember, right? If I've got a chest press machine, it's gonna keep me moving in this plane of movement. Now I might have a strong enough chest to push in this plane of movement, but once I've got dumbbells out here, I gotta control all this too. <laughs> So like, if you're trying to make sure that you're getting good form on a dumbbell chest press in particular, you know, just start a little bit lower. And uh, if you're comfortable, record yourself. If you're starting to learn to use free weights, record yourself using them. Because like, you can see, uh, you can see a lot of difference in like how you do movements. You, you'll see it a lot faster when you're looking at it, because you know, you're laying on your back, you may have a mirror right in front of you, but you're not gonna be able to really see how things are going. So let me know if you want some cues for any exercises. Um, happy to help. What's your max bench? It's not very, it's not very big. Um, I wanna say right now, my recorded one rep max is 250, but um, I'm going to be maxing next week. So I think I'll be able to hit at least 265. I'd love to hit 275 on max bench, um, but I might try to go a little higher too. I haven't maxed in a long time. Hard to be strong and lean. It really is. It really is. Um, and I've been, uh, I've been trying to keep running up too. So I ran my fourth marathon in October and my goal, right? My goal was to keep doing heavy training, heavy lifting training, and then run a marathon this year uh the big big goal was to break a thousand across my lifts so we'll see we'll see i'm not feeling super confident about breaking 1k but you know <laughs> because the way it kind of has to be like if i bench 250 again if i bench 250 and i dead 400 which is like kind of a stretch for me but i could i i think it's i think it's possible Bench 250, deadlift 400, squat 350. That gets me there. That'd be great. Chris, hello. Andy, hello. How are you doing, y'all? Happy Wednesday. You did scare me. Ah! You got me, Andy. You got me. That was so good. <laughs> Wasn't getting any stronger on bench at 180 pounds. Bulked up to 190. My bench max went up 25 pounds in six weeks. Yeah. See, I'm trying to bulk, but it is a, it's, it's been a very slow bulk. My, uh, my winter bulks are always pretty slow. Um, and largely it's because of running. Right now I'm running like 10 to 10 to 12 miles a week. Um, with a little bit of speed work in there. And that's not a lot of miles, but um, it's enough cardio that like keeps me from being fully rested between days. Gotta hop off and talk to people. One tree, catch you later, friendo. It's Snoop Day. Ooh, are you excited, Andy? You gotta be there for the show. If you need another show or two as a background study show, I'll suggest Lego and Domino Masters. I'm not heard of Domino Masters. What's all that about? What's that about? <laughs> But yeah, eradicated. I'd uh, I've been trying not to really care that much about my overall numbers. Um, if I can run more miles and if I can get faster without losing a ton of progress in my lifts, I'm happy. That works for me.
Gotcha. One more set. Show running, then helping with cleanups. So that's going to be a long day for you. That got to be kind of fun, right? <laughs> it's going to be kind of fun. Same thing like Lego Masters, but dominoes and chain reactions and elaborate displays. Oh, so like actual dominoes. Oh, I do like that. <laughs> oh, I do like that. I do like that as a study show. Oh, no, it's all good, Geek. It's all good. I hope you got some good stuff. Little, uh, little, Chris, little, little Chrissy Presley's for yourself. Gosh. I am... Actually, you know what? No, I'm not moving that slow today. Forget that. I'll control the rest on this one. I'll, I'll not be so chatty. I love hearing it. I love hearing it. Uh, I got my... Uh, some, some people who were watching last night saw it, but uh, Mama Running sent her gift to Lauren and I, and it came in the mail yesterday. Put a gold to bench 315 by Christmas five months ago. Five by five at 280. Feeling pretty good about it. Oh, yeah, you'll hit it. You'll hit it easy. You'll hit it easy. You just gotta, you just gotta go in, go and feel confident. You'll nail it. 100%. Damn, that's a, that's, that's a sick set. <laughs> Eric Stone Street is the host for Domino Masters. Hope they bring it back for a second season. Is that, you said that was on Hulu, right? Because you asked if I had Hulu, and I didn't read it aloud, but I did read it. Love Mama Runnings, and I miss Lauren. I know. Hopefully, hopefully she's going to be able to join for whenever another trip happens across the pond. I hope she'll be able to join. I probably can't get away with going without her, so she will probably join. I wouldn't want to go without her. But you know what I mean, right? Like, I can't be like, hey, I'm going to Europe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it should be on Hulu, okay. My life. My wife. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to come invade you guys over the next year or two. You are always welcome in our home. 100%. Maybe we'll have an actual guest bedroom and you won't have to sleep on an air mattress. Um, not that there's anything wrong with asking people to sleep on an air mattress. That's not what I'm trying to say, but I'd love to give you a bed when you come to visit. So, I'm just like, oh, that's a very much an open mouth insert foot moment. Oh gosh, maybe I should, maybe I should, um, no, <laughs> damn it, no, please, no, no, <laughs> I also went with the no guest bedroom strategy, you gotta do what you can with the space you got, <laughs> I thought it was the workout bench, you two will, you're gonna have to share the workout bench, sorry about it. It's pretty exciting because I suffered from a shoulder injury when I was 20. My max bench was 300. Now, six years later, I'm finally stronger with a healthy shoulder. It feels good. Hey, that's great. I had an early 20s shoulder injury as well. Um, and uh, nowadays, like, yeah, I'm, I'm a little fragile. I've just accepted. I, I, just, I just accepted that uh, I'm, I'm a little bit on the fragile side, so I really got to control my effort. So if I hit, if I hit a 315 bench, it's going to take a while. You need an explanation. You're going to get one after I do this step because I told myself I would take the red monitors. <laughs> it's a bad review on trip runnings yeah no context <laughs> no you can't don't put don't don't do me like that oscilloscopy first off welcome to the run club second off please uh make sure please make sure that i'm pronouncing that correctly i'm really curious now oscilloscopy that's my guess Bench is done, everyone. Aren't we all happy that bench is done? Ding dong, the bench is done. The wicked bench is done. No, don't do this. Don't do this. I was very clear about the intent of what I was saying. It was tied. No. No. 
It's not allowed. <laughs> I reject your gentle ribbing. Which is a phrase I didn't think I would ever say on Twitch. Or outside of particular context, for that matter. Eradicated, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. I offered you the office. Listen, it's... No! Come on! Please! Don't do this! All right. You forced my hand. You understand you forced my hand, right? Hi, everyone. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Running here on Twitch. I have a very important announcement to share with you. My announcement, my announcement, uh, Paul STL and Geek of Nature are some of, uh, you know what, I'm just going to say it, two of the kindest people that I have had the pleasure to meet in my time as a human being on Earth. They were phenomenal hosts. They constantly asked us if we were happy, if we were comfortable, if we felt safe, if we felt good in the environment that they were preparing for us. Um, they were wonderful folks. They showed us about their town. They, uh, they, they came back. They, they messaged us before and afterwards. They picked us up from transportation. I cannot say enough nice things about these people. So, just so you know, just so you know, they are lovely human beings. Whatever you see happen, sorry, whatever you see happening right here, they're phenomenal. Don't let anything tell you otherwise. Please go and check out. Here, we'll just uh, you know what? We'll uh we'll just uh we'll just take a moment here. You know what? Um Geek is extremely talented. Um Geek is an extremely talented crafter and artist. Um, and all of the stuff that Geek creates is just gorgeous. Working on a matrix skirt right now, it's incredible. Um and Paul uh, has been an awesome friend of the stream for a number of years. And uh, like basically since I started streaming, Paul has been uh, just completely supportive and like has been a model for how I like to handle things here. So uh, you are you are doing yourself a disservice if you are not spending time with these humans on the Internet. And I need you to know that. OK. Thank you, everyone, for taking time for this public service announcement. That's what you get. That's what you get. You forced my hand. I, I say it again. What you get. You get what you deserve. And you deserve very kind treatment because you're very kind people. What up, Daya? How we doing? We got the degenerate king himself. Welcome in, homie. How's your day? How was your lift this morning? I was lurking for a little bit when I was uh, getting a work day going. So you know that is the real real because uh, the dude is consistently, consistently. Zach Bot. Oh my goodness. How are we doing, Raiders? No degeneracy today. I'm a God-fearing boy today. <laughs> uh, Thundergun, Zach, Gaston, welcome in, welcome back. Hello, Raiders. How are we doing? Welcome in, peoples, non-peoples. Welcome in, uh... Zach, Zach do, you have any, do you have any furries in your community? That's not a joke. Anyway, you don't have to answer that. Welcome in, Raiders. Here, I can, uh... Put the cake away for a moment. Hi, everyone. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. I use he, him pronouns. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we lift weights. Tuesdays, Sundays, we play video games. All the time. We're an inclusive community that's all about getting moving in the ways that work for you and having a positive, non-toxic support network for the fitness community. So welcome in. Welcome in furries in the furless. Welcome in to any um, naked mole rats in the chat. Do I have furries in my community? Are you asking right now? I'm sorry. I, di I didn't mean that to be like a total, like, like a, like a, like a, anyway, I got to back up. 
I got back up. I just got to back up a whole bunch. Just a piece of your <laughs> technically. No, it is a, it is an identity all its own. Don't even. That's <laughs> pork chicken. Behold, a man. <laughs> so few than I do. I'm sure we do. I don't ask people to openly identify. Anyway, we just welcome in. I'm glad you're here. We're about to get some hip thrusts done. So, uh, welcome to uh, welcome to a very special moment. Wait, are you are you dressed as Kim Possible today? I love that for you. Please tell me you've got cargo pants. Hang on a second. Sorry, friends. I do need to be on the lookout for. Okay, hold on. We'll send pick, please. Please do want do want to see. I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit more. <laughs> Welcome in, Zach. How was your uh, how was your lift, my friend? Y'all, please go and check out Zach back. If you haven't done so already. Zach is a big beautiful man. We're going to warm up with 135. And I forgot to do some changes with the power blocks, so I'm still going to have to get those out, but we'll get that in a second. Green cargo pants and a black crop turtleneck. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, you're a beautiful man. But yes, thank you so much for bringing your community over, my dude. What do you got going on the rest of the day? Is it a busy one for you? You got a little bit of time. Why do I keep forgetting the thing that I need to do? Uh, rear delt raises. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Got to do the power black switch the roof. That's shut. And then... Bring these bad boys over here. The Naco, oh my gosh. That's a nacho taco, right? Ooh. Hang a bit while I get some food together before work things start. Nice. Can I ask what kind of foods you're scraping together? I've got some leftovers I gotta burn up today. If I burn up, I mean actually set on fire. grind out so I could possibly give high on life a try. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I'll be I'll be totally honest, and this is like not to discourage anyone from giving it a go. The whole like AI art thing kind of pissed me off. But I completely understand if folks want to still give it a give it a good try. Hi Evie. Can you sit? Sit? You can do it. Come here. Come on over. Sit. Good girl. Stay. No, sit. Okay. Come on. You poor dog. 
Poor dog. You want a treat? It's getting yourself in a danger zone. Something happened with AI in that game. Yeah. A bebe has arrived. Okay. One. <laughs> yeah, you get one. You get one treat. Okay. Come on, girly. Come on. <laughs> Are you not satisfied? <laughs> Use AI art for Uncanny Valley posters and some AI voice. They're for the final polish, not everything. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the that's the good thing, is that they've like they made it clear that they're going to make sure that that art is like open source so that it's not <laughs> not just being like generated once and then continually generated. Um but yeah. It's like the it is the as far as I understand it, it is the first like very specific example of someone using artificial intelligence to take the job of an artist, right? Like those those uh the the AI generators draw from um art that already exists, right? So they're using human artist source material, which is like, you know, some I, I think can be harmful in its own way. But um the game was made using AI art. Yeah, so they made like all of the main art themselves, you know? So like all the character designs, all the um like all the environments, like all that stuff was made, like people made that. And then when they were trying to fill uh the spaces and like make posters and like all these little things, they used AI art generators to just like slap a bunch of like filler stuff up all over the place. Which again, like there there is a much worse way to do it but like it is just one of those situations where they very much could have used human people and their ideas and like paid them money but they used a generator so so my my stance on it is like if you want to play the game like like you you should you should play the game right like this like i'm, I'm not gonna stand here and tell you like like don't don't play it. I might not play it, right? Partially because of time and partially because of the whole AI thing, but um also because I've watched enough Rick and Morty to like not exactly I'm not totally entertained by the thought of like a Morty gun. And that's what it is, right? You got like Morty you got like a little face on your on your pistol and it's just like Morty screaming at you the whole time. It's not actually Morty, but yeah. If the thought that is going through anyone's minds is cancel culture, um, I would like you to just think about it as like consequence culture rather, <laughs> because uh, it's uh, people need to calm down over this AI stuff. I mean, you know, like it's it's not my work, right? So I don't want to tell someone that they can't be upset about it, but like. I do get, I, I do get the the idea of like maybe we shouldn't really care so much about it, but I don't know. If like I have friends that are upset about it, and like they give me a good reason for it, then I'm gonna support them, right? But it does look like a funny game. That's the thing. Four dollars in one minute to make compared to 120 in a week to make is kind of no brainer. From a business standpoint, sure. That's a principal thing, right? <laughs> if I get to use, if I use cancel culture, then I get to use buzzwords. Consequence culture, accountability culture makes it sound like it's my fault. All this stuff is happening. <laughs> I don't know. Like we, we validate what we participate in, you know? This is why I'm trying not to just be super prescriptive about it. Like the game looks funny. The clips I've seen look absolutely hilarious. And like, if you want to play it, I think you should play it. I'm not being like uh, backhanded when I say that. I'm still working through my feelings on it, you know. Let's run it. Right. So I need two sixty-five. That's thrown tens on here. Time's doing my I got time. I'm good. 
Give zero Fs about this AI stuff. AI could do what I do. Sure, yeah, probably. But doing a very specific commission work about is different than AI doing it. That's not one and the same. No, I agree with you. I agree with you, Daya. Cars made horses obsolete, but improve society. New tech. Improve society in general. People who do that job are affected. Self-driving cars, if they ever work, will make taxes pointless. Yeah. Gonna give you exactly what you want. Gonna give you something very close. Not even a perfect a lot of the time. Totally, totally. And in this context, right? It's kind of like, uh, kind of like Paul said. Like the the point was to make something that looked and felt weird. So AI is very good at doing that, and it'll probably improve. Come on. I'm going to commission someone to do it, not get an AI to half ass it. <laughs> Got distracted while taking Kim fix. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, so I mean, that's the, to, to me, that's the crux of it, is like, we should use it if it makes life easier, but we shouldn't mindlessly use it, you know? That's why I don't outright reject it. You know? Welcome in, Jay. It can be interesting and incredible with what it makes. I don't think anyone should go around claiming ownership over it. Sure, yeah. Because ultimately it's, you know, <laughs> the robot made it. Only argument I have against it, people selling it. Yeah, the selling of AI art is very strange. Like, seeing that, like, that's something that's a big no-no. People would go to, like, conventions and have prints of AI art, right? Right, set up a booth at a con. That's not, that's not okay. <laughs> that's not cool. I mean, get that money, right? But it's just a little, it's a little unnecessary. People sticking up for the artist saying we should have went to them. Where was that support for this person before this all came out? Well, how many people don't know, right? <laughs> it just kind of goes back to the, the general relationship between a person and a company that they work for. If you're contracted to work for somebody, there's one or two people in a boardroom that are looking at a spreadsheet and they're saying like, this is cheaper, so we're gonna do this. That is like such a huge problem in business and corporations. <laughs> I'm using, I'm saying that broadly, right? But it's true. It only takes one person who is trying to look good doing their job to say like, oh, this thing will save money. <laughs> Andy, hello, how are you doing? Welcome in Raiders. Welcome in, welcome in. That's an argument for people to not be garbage humans. It absolutely is. <laughs> You're spot on. We're on the same page, broski. Welcome in, Raiders. Cute dog, yeah. We got a raid here. You want to say hi? Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Joe. I by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. He, him pronouns. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, we lift. Tuesdays and Sundays, we play video games all the time. We're an inclusive community all about getting moving in the ways that work for you. Welcome in, folks. 
kind of why I really don't like the anime prints people send me or come out and see at cons. It's just read on stuff drawn in a computer program. It's interesting, but not original. That's a, that's a fair take. People got to like recreate. I mean, working on art is recreating things sometimes. And again, this is like, this is me. Oh, Mossy, you and Para have a great dinner. This is me coming from the perspective of not being an artist, right? But when an artist says like, hey, this thing's kind of bullshit. I'm just like, all right, I trust you. I support you. <laughs> but I also support the idea that like, again, it's a game. It's a game, it's out there, it's already been made. It's so fascinating what they can create. Then again, I can't, I can't drop a shit, yeah. Yeah. I'm also in that camp, right? I'm not doing it, I'm not contributing. I'm not contributing in that same way, so I'm not gonna just like dunk on it. <laughs> but, welcome in Raiders. Thank you so much, Indy, for bringing your community over here. But yes. It is a good discussion. It's an important discussion. I'm sorry if I'm sorry if anyone is like really exhausted by this discussion. I'm gonna say it one more time. If you are interested in playing high end life, I think you should go play it. And I'm not gonna judge you for that. Like I'm saying that so 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 sincerely. <laughs> These artists can actually draw hands. <laughs> the hands are tough, aren't they? And I think that that's especially true because I cannot draw hands. I Raises. <laughs> some feet drawings. I'm selling. I'm selling. Cash for cabs. Cash for cabs and feats for sweets. Welcome to my only hands. I'm not falling for that again. What kind of sweets? We got some friends that gave us some baklava. I was very happy with that transaction. Oh. <laughs> Three times? Wow. <laughs> Three whole times. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had it. And uh their family is uh their their heritage is Lebanese and so they have a lot of like traditional Lebanese cooking and they, they brought us some baklava. I was so I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Funky Sevens, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the run club. <laughs> People really like you. <laughs> They're different people. And uh, what, I, I think they just tolerate me, really. Wish Baklava wasn't so sweet. What's up with that? It's almost too sweet, like pastry soaked in syrup. <laughs> Welcome in, Brenty. That's delicious, what up with that? Yeah, so we like, so the, the thing with like the Southeast Michigan area, there is just, there is a huge, huge population of um, folks that have immigrated in here from um, Arab and primarily Muslim countries. And so like, there's a ton of Middle Eastern food like in, in the Southeast Michigan area. And so there's so many bakeries. And so like, if you don't like baklava in one spot, <laughs> you just drive like five miles and you find better stuff. <laughs> But some of it is a little too sweet. Like I like it with a little bit of bitterness. Some places use just a little too much honey. 
and not enough almond. And so I feel you, Daya. Scissors! How we doing? Welcome in. Made it one year and made different flavors of sugar syrup for them. Rose, lemon, almond, and it was so good. A Lebanese professor in college absolutely adored. He brought in this dessert from Lebanon that was so good. Don't remember what it was called, though, but it had a nut on top. We do love... We do love a... I'm sorry. Raising. Raising. My flan is so good. Flan is dope. I love flan. I love flan. I love rice pudding. <laughs> Morning, bear shark. Boom, it's there. We know. <laughs> nut. 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 How's everyone doing today? <laughs> You're going great. We're going great. Had some lively discussions on things today. <laughs> it has been lively. <laughs> Welcome in, Bear Shark. How's your week going? So we gotta do some, we gotta do one more set of hip thrusts. Let me knock them out. Chug, chug, chug. Okay, I just actually thought about that and now I'm a little upset. I can't thrust as much as my colleagues, but I can thrust. I call those Urherms. <laughs> a new sub notification sound. That'll be for uh, five gift subs at a time. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, Geek. <laughs> Had some PRs. The gym last night, working on my last shift till the new year. Yeah, you're almost done. You've almost made it. I'm so happy for you. Ooh. Ooh. Sure, keep moving. <laughs> oh. On rack. All right, so we'll do some. Try that push downs. Pair it up with the uh, dumbbell. Try that push downs, dumbbell curls. That's super set. We gotta mix something else in there too. That was feeling sassy. Something with a barbell, maybe? Don't tempt me, Frodo. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Geek. As long as you thrust with all your heart, it doesn't matter the size of your thrust. The strength of your thrust matters not. What truly matters is the speed of your parry. In the cube of your cumber. Put it right down. Should we do some cheeky Romanian deadlifts? Would we like some cheeky RDLs, everybody? Doesn't matter the strength of your thrust, but the conviction of said thrust. As long as you believe in your thrust, this is what matters. We're going to do it. Geeky Romanian. Look, mommy. I'm talking like one of the prints now. Sorry, Jay. Cheeky RDLs and Cheeky Nandos? Yes. Can we start saying humps? No. <laughs> no. 
chicken endo sounds bomb to me. Does isn't it supposed to always like by design? Doesn't that always sound good? Isn't that the point? It is not the heft of your thrust, but the cut of your jib. Sweet Lou, how are your ribs? Oh. Those are going to suck. Not going to be fun. Pardon me. All right, I need a quick bio break. I will be right back. Hi everyone, welcome back. So Bear Shark, I prefer the T bar. Uh, I prefer like a, a bar push down on triceps, but um, I am not super good at the rope push downs, so I'm trying to do more of the rope push downs to get better at them. So I may even cut the weight down to 50. But we'll see if that has to happen. All right. Here we go. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Rock Club. I think it's like my front delts that are limiting that movement for me. But yeah. Yeah, T-Bar feels more stable. Arvondrick, welcome in, welcome back. These BG, welcome in. Make sure I didn't miss any questions here. Yeah. We're going to start off with a warm-up set of these. We'll do eight of them. And then we'll uh, add a little bit of weight. We'll do some RDLs.
One down. Ooh. Enjoy your gift sub, Ravondrick. Excuse me. Yeah, I hear the WoW, the new WoW expansion has been darn good. I've been watching a lot of people have a lot of fun. <laughs> the most high def solitaire game ever. What is going on? I didn't know there was a post song here. All right. We listen to my humps. Is everyone satisfied? We can go a full year without listening to that song again now, right? We have, uh, we have sated, we have sated Fergie's thirst, or the community's thirst for Fergie. I can go my whole life. We're going to go one year. I need someone to remind me one year from now that we need to listen to my humps. Is there anyone who's willing to take on the task? Is it some reality ending threat from outer space, this expansion? I don't play my sub, my partner does, and he likes it so far. That's good. That's good. We like a <laughs> We like a like a reasonable I don't know. I haven't known the WoW lore enough, but it's questioning why it was on your playlist. Not because I was judging, just didn't like seem like the vibe of the playlist. I was judging. Yeah. So it was uh added to the queue once and now it is off the playlist. It is not on the playlist. Let's be clear. <laughs> Next up, her NBA National Anthem performance. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. And you can't make me. You can't make me. Let's see. You are all flatboarded booty haters. <laughs> My humps hit. I'm sorry for that particular comment. I had to read. Uh, <laughs> I had to read it disrespectfully. I love you, Zach. I'm sorry. <laughs> flatboarded booty haters. <laughs> I mean, you're right though. You're right though. I will stay. I will. You know what? I know I didn't actually indicate any of my preferences in the matter, but I will die on the hill that that is a good song. It is a banger. <laughs> That's exactly how I was saying it in my head. Telling back my deficit really strictly, your boy's hungry. I'm glad you're hitting your, your macros. I'm glad you're hitting your big macros. All right, next up. Sorry for the shakiness. I should drop the weight so I can get a full extension. Hundo P. Good is subjective. Put the Christmas Classics playlist from Spotify on. It's Stop the Cavalry right now, and it's a banger. Bang the Cavalry! I like this song, but it sounds off, and I see it's not the original song. Yeah. That's a good cover, though. I like the cover. Yeah, One Tree, I'm a... Taking my time today.
Maybe I should move. Hang on. RDLs. Ah. <laughs> Cavalry. Tinder profile uses the absolute dumpster fire of a person, but I have a cute dog. Well, there we go. <laughs> now it's only a partial dumpster fire. Interview was interesting. Mainly reminiscing with the guy who trained me 10 years ago. Answering some very generic questions. Definitely a formality. Hmm. Wait. I can't hear if you spell applesauce with a B. You would say it bapplesauce? <laughs> if you spell applesauce with a B, you would say it bapplesauce. Damn. You just ruined it for me. But like in a good way. I'm not going to be able to unhear that now. There were a couple of TikToks along that, along that vein, weren't there? Ooh, gosh. FF14 with a friend. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> Said they get back to me by the end of the week, hopefully. They know they're on the clock. One Tree, I hope that your decision is easy. No matter what happens, I hope your decision is easy. Like a dustbin fire. There we go. A little fire that goes on before you move the little fire to the big fire. You want me to sing it again? I have to go back and read it again. If you spell applesauce with a B, you would say it applesauce. Ha ma 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 me 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 ha me 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 me. Thank you, Pyrex. One of my vocal sims, it just pops up. <laughs> no, 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 it's perfect. It's perfect. It's immaculate. <laughs> I love, uh, I love replacing the lyrics of songs. It is a, it is a lovely practice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I don't know that I've ever like really earnestly sung on stream and I don't know that there will be a point where I do unless I am like very inebriated or um uh or unless it's like a like a milestone reward for something. I think for one of the fundraisers I did Zach, thank you so much for bringing your community over here for hanging out my dude. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy work. As much as you possibly can. Birthday stream. I mean, you can ask. But I don't I don't know if I want to sing on my birthday. I used to do karaoke every year for my birthday after I turned 21. Dag nubbit, I hate those. New. You'll feel different on the day with all that goodwill flying around. <laughs> the local goodwill 
Location has sprouted wings and is taking off as we speak. Huh. It's like when a parent says, if you think that's a good idea. <laughs> Big 30. Are you scared? I'm really not. I'm not really scared in my 30s. I'm interested to find out what happens in my 30s. I feel like I've already kind of springboarded in. Rip review. How we doing, big man? Welcome in. May I please have a shout for rip review? Like your 20s with less F to give, right? It's like your 20s, but you've got, you got more brain development that has already happened. Your brain's developed. What's your max body weight? and what you're at now. I'm around uh, 180 right now. And uh, I think the highest I've gotten recently has been 180, 185. So, yeah. I'm gonna put glitter in your beard, golden sequins on your body and sing I am what I am. Okay, fine. <laughs> I am what I am. Take a stand. Ugh. But no, yeah, I'm excited for my 30s. 40s where it's at. You know what? I'm excited for my 40s too. I'm excited for my 30s. I'm excited for my 40s. I'm like that video of that little girl standing in front of the mirror. beauty. Comics, Bill. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. 30s equals development done. Sobling begins a long slide down the hill towards a zero tolerance of BS. You know, I think that's real. <laughs> Got to keep that butt butt tolerance up. I wouldn't want to be 20 again. Doing my best for the 40 plus fitness group. Honestly, Rip, you're crushing it. You're crushing it. And I mean that. Absolutely. But yeah, I wouldn't want to be 20 again. Fun while it lasted in some ways, but it was also awful. <laughs> I'm a firm believer. Your story is your story. What happened, happened. It's okay to forget some of it and block some of it out. It's also okay to just recognize that's part of your story. It's okay. We gotta stretch. Spending those points right away, yeah? Think how much you think you know when you're 20. You actually know so little about life. It true, though. <laughs> Love this angle in the rep list. Makes it look like it's peeking in the wind. <laughs> the cow is, is just like having a little... Ooh, a little moment up there. I really should do one more set of curls, so I'll try it. I'll give it a go. Here is 60 pounds right now, twice of you. Lately, I've been motivated to lose half of me, look like you. Whatever your journey looks like. I know that sounds a little, a little floofy, but like, for real. You'll, you'll be so glad that you got started. You'll be so glad that you got started and like, Try to get moving a little more every day, and you'll get there. 
the diet stuff matters, but like, you know, I've been training for a long time. So like back in the day, I would say like what, gosh, it must've been 20, 2015. I capped out at 215 and I was, I was not very active. Um, I lost 40 pounds in a summer. And then since then, I've just been kind of like going back and forth a little bit. No more than I did in my 20s. I'm okay with being almost 40. Hell yeah. Thunder Gun, welcome back. The lifts are good. Lifts are good. I gotta get uh, I gotta get this next set of curls done. And then what I had planned was a uh, um, heel drops and a core circuit, but I might have to get back to work. I may skip core today. <laughs> just embrace being mediocre at most things and I won't complain. Well, honestly, Irvondrick... I you know, you, you say that with a joke, but like embracing the fact that we don't have to be good at everything, like or great at everything, is so freeing. It is so freeing to just like be like, it's okay. <laughs> Hams, hello, welcome in. How are you doing, Hammy? You, can I get a shout for what the flappies? Because Ham is representing the flaps. <laughs> sunscreen people sunscreen yes oh, gotta wear sunscreen keep that skin should we be good at something you should try you should defo try i don't know pursuing hobbies and trying to get good at things can be very fulfilling but if you try to put the pressure on yourself to be everything to everyone and be good at everything you're gonna burn out real quick some people can do that. I'm not some people. I know it seems like I do a lot, but I'd say no to a lot more. I'm going to resist the temptation to do a drop set because my shoulder's been bugging me. Ugh, Hams, I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. Um, work has been stressful up to this point this week, but I'm going to... Um, hopefully the rest won't be too, too nasty. I know I have some emails waiting for me right now that I got to get to, but it's all good. Sophomore in high school, waited at 290 for football and I felt that. Now that I'm 360, I don't feel as fat mentally. Physically, the scale says so. You have a lot of energy being the size I am. Well, so here's the thing that I'll tell you. Uh, toxic is like, and I, I know how this is going to sound, but like, one, what Jay said, that's progress mentally. The fact that you're like, like, The fact that you're feeling energized and that you're feeling relatively good in the place your body is at right now, like that's a really good thing. Because if you want to lose weight, you can. And if you want to, you should. But there's nothing wrong with being fat, right? Like especially, especially if you're someone who's getting moving a little bit, you know? Like if anyone is, is feeling a certain way about their body that like they're too fat or they're too big um, and you're not finding some way to get active. I would say like start with getting active, but don't feel like a ton of pressure to lose weight. Sometimes the doctor will tell you that you just need to like diet and exercise when you're going to talk about a problem if you're a fat person. And like, that's, that stuff is not okay. <laughs> you can be completely healthy and be like a, a relatively fat person. And I'm using fat in a neutral way right now, just so that's clear. <laughs> Size doesn't matter, health matters. You can be big and healthy. Exactly. You can be big and strong. Big, strong, and lovable. Stanislav, hello, thank you. Very kind of you. All right. I think we did everything that we need to do. I really do need to get back to work. Um, so I hope that y'all will join me in maybe seeing who we could, who we could take, take the party over to. Your 300 pounds plus could be healthy. I'm no NFL lineman, but I'm pretty strong and low. Well, there you go, right? Like, if you got a good mindset and you're, you're feeling good and healthy, like, again, just, like, try, try to be more active, but 
you know, try to eat foods that make you feel good. I'm not talking about good foods or bad foods. I'm talking about foods that make you feel good. I can tell you, as someone who still binges chocolate once in a while, if you, uh, <laughs> if you eat a bunch of food the night before and you wake up the next day and you're like, man, I feel like ass, then maybe reconsider those foods. But, like, even then, a little bit of that is okay. All right, I'm looking for uh, who we're going to bring a raid over to. Let's raid Ramir. We'll go see our boy Ramir. We like, we like Ramir. Hang on a second. Screen manager. There we go. I got to do this. Uh, raid. Ramir. Ramir 93. I got to do it on my phone because my PC will slow the hell down. Thanks for the stream, everyone. Bill, have a good sleep. Jay, nice to see you. Everyone, it was a pleasure to hang out with you today. We're going to bring a raid over to Ramir93. Um, Ramir is another health and fitness streamer. He's a good dude. If you'd be so kind as to grab one of those awesome raid messages that Geek has popped in the chat for you. The second one, if you are a subscriber, it's going to look a little bit like that. Um, if you haven't done so already, you can join us in the socials, you can join us in Discord, all places that you can keep up with the stream and what's going on. Um, Discord's real great. Thank you for the follow, Swag. Pleased to have you. Um, but yeah, we're going to go see Ramir. I am going to be back on Friday for another Lifty Lift, and then back on Sunday for uh, video games. We're going to play Fable 3 and continue doing that whole thing. Wait a minute. Wait, Sunday's Christmas. Maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, y'all have a great rest of your day on purpose. Be kind to someone else. Be kind to yourself. Uh, do a little something that fills your tank. Send a message to a friend. Uh, let them know that you're thinking about them. You really turn someone's day around if they're feeling alone. You just don't know what people are going through. So it never hurts to, to check in. But yes, have a great rest of your day, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.